Okay, let's take a look at the apartment comparison app. Now this is not a apartment searching app, this is merely an app to compare apartments once you've found them in order to decide which one is best for you. So the first thing you're going to do is go to input data. Here you'll enter the apartment name. Let's just call this one the Ford. Or the good, whatever. So there's the name. Now you can put in all your monthly expenses as the first category. The keypad that shows up here. So you collect all the data for the apartment and enter it here. If you don't know it, just leave it blank. Or you can hit zero, it doesn't matter. And uh, as you can see here, it'll add up the total monthly cost. So you can see, okay, this apartment's going to cost 1046 every month. Uh, Move-in fees. Just enter. I need a pressurized wall. That's like a, an apartment like in New York City where they might have one apartment, then use a pressurized wall to split it into two. So believe me, we've, we've really thought of uh, every possible uh, input here. So square footage, living area. So there's three different types of inputs. There's numeric input, like I've been showing you, or there's a drop-down input, where you give it a rating of between 1 to 10, with 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. So school districts, like it's in a really good school district, so we'll give it a 9. And then the third type of input is yes or no, so pretty self-explanatory. Is there an outdoor pool? Yes. An outdoor pool? No. And last section, utilities included. Okay, so once you get all of those filled out, you have to remember to save it. Save successful. So if we hit our save data button, I've got three apartments saved in here right now. So next let's go to the waiting page. Now this is where I set the importance of each category, what's the most important to me. So if the location is most important, I'm going to move the slider to the right. Things that are less important, you move to the left. So say utilities, not that important to me, I move it to the, to the left. So on, set those five categories. And once that's complete, you hit this compute scores and compare button. And now here is our chart, which shows us monthly cost versus total score. So it gives each apartment a score based on all the data we just input. And then displays the apartments on this chart. So what does this mean? Well, the apartment here has the highest score because it's more to the right. And then this apartment has the highest price per month or cost per month. So if we go back and change what's important to us and go back to the chart you can see the position of the apartments moved and that's how the apartment comparison app works thanks for listening